Hey everybody, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. My name is Bear, let's go ahead and play a game with Isaac because we just unlocked the D6, so of course we have to play Isaac, right? Naturally, we have to play with Isaac when we just unlocked the D6. This is the best thing ever. 884LYB4X. Why before X? Always. Just <laughs> adhere to that one rule of the alphabet and you'll be well on your way, man. Fight your teachers and principals because this seed has shown us the light. The alphabet as we knew it ceases to exist. Y before X is law. I was also so excited today because I was going to share with you guys. I got myself a new mouse. Brand new mouse. I've been rocking an old shitty Logitech $20 find in the back alley of a jack-in-the-box mouse. I stole that joke from my own Twitter. Don't judge. And <laughs> it's it's died on me, so I had to get a new one. And, of course, I had the birthday. So I was like, yeah, we can treat ourselves to a little bit of a little birthday present here. But, sadly... As you have probably figured out by now, Rebirth doesn't use a mouse. So, fortunately, I can't show off gameplay with it just yet, but that'll happen in no in no uh, short order, I'm sure. I'm going to go ahead and go for that Tinted Rock here. For now, though, we'll just gloat about it and say, Hey, man, just know that this thing exists. Know that my life has increased in satisfaction levels by about 1.4%. This is pretty good right here. We actually have two D6 rolls. Wed ready and rating. <laughs> ready and waiting. Uh, in case we need to use them. So, hopefully we get some really good stuff off here on the first floor. And I've already taken two hits of damage. So that's a genius move. Yeah, two chances at a reroll here though. So even if the boss item sucks, we'll have... Uh, well, three chances total actually. We'll have three total chances of getting a decent boss room item here. Actually, have we even gotten to the item room yet? I don't think we have. So overall, we should be looking at some pretty good stuff getting out of here. That's the... That's your bottom dollar bet right there. The bottom dollar. I feel like we've talked about the bottom dollar before. Why would you ever want the bottom dollar? Why would you bet your bottom dollar? Is it like your worst dollar or the one that's just closest to your ass? I'm going to take that blood clot, by the way. Don't need to reroll that one. Well, I've got to keep that in mind now. I haven't had the D6 in a long time, so i got to keep that in mind as I'm going through the floors here, that that is indeed an option as long as we maintain the freedom of our spacebar item. But for now, I don't think I've found the item room yet, so we're going to go ahead and keep on mooseying over this way. Trying to find a bomb, too. Of course, we got that tinted rock over there that I definitely want to check out. Damage and range upgrade from the blood clots is actually pretty damn good going forward here. Not bad at all. I'm happy with that. Another key. I'm kind of tempted to go for curse room. Let's see what's inside here. This, I think this is Mr. Mega? Yeah, this is Mr. Mega, so what we'll do... Oh, I thought that gave me bombs. It did give me bombs! Okay, good! Awesome! There's that! I'll go ahead and go in the curse room with the off chance there's something in here that I can reroll, so let's check this out. Not a big benefit, but of course we do have Mr. Boom to give us five bombs now. Get a spirit heart and two troll bombs. Alright. <laughs> I guess that was completely useless. I could go for Secret Room as well. In fact, if I went for Secret Room, I would guess that it's going to be uh, right here. Which may save us a bomb getting into the shop. So let's try this out. That's enough money for the shop, or almost enough money for the shop. Maybe if I get two more pennies out of these fires, that would be fantastic. Not quite. But we'll use another bomb down here just to check out the shop, see what's inside. I could always bomb the donation machine. And I might very well do that for the sake of two more cents to get the purse. I think that's worth it. So we'll do this. Ooh, we got a big bomb. Nice. There we go. And uh, we got three cents, but we'll go ahead and just put that back in there. Round the donation machine back up. We got to make some progress on that thing, man. 150's right around the corner. And that could be good. Want to get up to those next level shops. I'm going to re-roll just for the hell of it. <laughs> and then down we go. All right. Oh, I forgot the tinted rock. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just realized it. I know you're... You're pissed at me, and I deserve that. Oh, I'm the worst. Here, tell you what. Let's see if I can get value out of this right here. This is my. This has been my plan from the get-go, is that I'd have much more value out of that bomb on the next floor, and it was a complete lie. Oh, man. Now, look at this, too. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, let's take... That is the, the distraction, right? That's like the little scapegoat or something. I'm going to re-roll that. Ugh, all right. Monster Manuel will definitely let that slide. Man, if only I had that bomb now. Oh, that would be wonderful. I need a lot more bombs, man. I thought Mr. Mega would be enough, but I used, like, all of them on one floor. 
Did I even use them well? I mean, I got a tinted rock out of the first one, right? Or, uh, no, what happened is I went into the curse room, and that was like a complete waste of one bomb. Then we used two bombs on the... ...shop entrance, which didn't really... Well, I mean, I got his mom's purse, which is pretty damn good. Mom's purse is pretty awesome. I can... I can live with having used resources to grab that. And then there was the fifth bomb that we just used in the, uh... ...in the room prior to try to get to that chest that didn't really end up, end up paying due dividends. Overall, I think good... Good consumable use. My god, the damage I'm taking here is staggeringly stupid. But of course, could always use more. Not more damage, more consumables, mind you. Although more damage in the right context could be helpful. I have a good look going on, by the way. This is this is Victoria's Secret fashion show kind of shit right here. I am loving it. I just heard a doorbell. I just distinctly heard a doorbell. Am I going crazy? I guess so. Alright, I'm gonna have another reroll inside of here, so hopefully I get a good monster item and then I can just go reroll the monster manual. That would be ideal. I think this version of Monstro just spits a lot. Seems to be the case. Yep, alright. <laughs> Great sleuthing there, Jackson! What the hell was that? I was going for like a Watson to Sherlock remark and then I just... <laughs> Man, I completely derailed. Oh god, oh well. That's what, that's what Dark Monster will do to you, man. He'll discombobulate your jargon. Nonetheless. Hoping for a good item. I'm guessing health up. That would be if you, if you held me at gunpoint and made me decide upon the item. That would be my choice. Probably dinner. Or meat, you know. Okay, so I, got, I was partially right. Three red chests! On your way back home. Let's see them. Spirit Heart's good. Give me a guppy item. Alright, that's fair. That's a lot of health, that's some damage from the meat, and we're gonna be able to go re-roll the Monster Man well, which is cool. Still don't have any uh, bombs, unfortunately. I could go for a bomb purchase in the shop, that's not entirely impossible. It's kind of likely, actually. I think a bomb shows up pretty damn frequently inside of those things, so... Maybe. We'll see what we get here. The Ankh is okay, I guess. Can't hurt to have that extra chance. Uh, it's kind of, it's a little tempting, honestly, to try to see if there's a bomb inside of there. I'll probably just end up spending it on, well, I mean, I could always just put it in the donation machine, too, but I'm kind of low on keys. What would be the most value I could get out of a bomb right now? I guess I would go down and blow up that tinted rock down there and potentially get, like, three cents, along with some more health, which I really don't need, so let's go ahead and keep this stuff. That'll do. This one's open, that's surprising. Uh, no? Not yet, at least. If I get a couple more keys, I might consider it. But don't make it any promises that I, I don't know if I can keep. That would be the worst thing I could do right now. Let's, uh, hmm. I'm gonna get more stuff. I guess... I wanna keep the D6 for a while. I wanna keep the D6 and enjoy that. There's another key, which is pretty damn good. The trap room in and of itself is just kind of a risk anyway right now, because I'm not really that strong. I'm not strong enough to mindlessly attempt a trap room. Although I do have a lot of health, so that probably would be enough on its own to make sure I survive. I just... it's just two locked chests. The only way I would be doing it, I wouldn't be going in there simply for one. I would definitely be using two keys to get the most value out of it, because I wouldn't want to have to fight all the enemies to only unlock one chest. We'll see what's inside of the item room here. We'll see if I need to build up a reroll, because a reroll obviously would uh, be a lot quicker if I were to do the trap room. Game Kid is not great, so I probably will reroll that. Just go ahead and grab it, I guess. You know what I could do? No, that wouldn't be good. I was going to say I could take the Game Kid into the trap room and try to utilize it that way, but then, of course, that would be defeating the purpose of getting the charge for the D6 from the trap room to replace the Game Kid. That wouldn't really be that helpful. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Mask of Infamy, okay, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Oh, I could've re-rolled that, I guess. But that would've been a very precious re-roll I didn't really want to use. The Mask of Infamy is a good thing. I don't want to get caught in the trap early on of saving my re-rolls, or using my re-rolls, rather, on things that don't necessarily need to be rolled. This is ridiculous. This is one enemy. Okay. Yeah, I'm clearly not that strong. If I only got a bomb... I'm gonna get in, uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and go in the boss fight, I think. Because I'd like to just see what's inside of here to see if whether or not I'm gonna need to build more stuff to reroll. We'll find out. Probably gonna get a cube of meat out of this, which is obviously a good enough thing to take. 
I've gotten a couple of damage upgrades, but it doesn't really seem like it's that effective at the moment. That was ridiculous. I mean, it's... Uh, my damage is okay, I guess, but... Really not that good. That was a dangerous play. Alright, get down to your other phase, man. You're starting to freak me out. There we go. Oh, goodness. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Alright, let's, uh... I don't know if I want to focus on the silkworms here. I think I'd just rather go straight for this guy. There we go. He's finally coughing up flies. I don't know why it took so long. No, oh, wow. I'm surprised that didn't hit me. Okay. Okay, buddy. Yep, that's... That's... That's enough. Please don't paint me green into the corner. Nobody paints baby green into the corner. Let's see what we get. Ball of bandages is obviously good. Two guppy items. Hell to the yes. Go ahead and give me a taste of both of those. And now, uh, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and pop Guppy's head once, grab the D6 again. One more charge. Can I go back into the demon room? Devil room? Nope, can't. Alright, that's fine. I don't think I wanted to take Guppy's head. Guppy's head's good. I make arguments for Guppy's head all the time, but it's... Not better than D6. I don't think I've had that ability to say that for a while. I'm really glad I have a D6 back. Uh, I can't get there with one bomb, unfortunately. I think I can, actually. I just don't really want to take the risk on it. Oh, I have the... Oh, shoot. I have the reroll. I should have gone and done that real fast. That was a mistake. Oh, well. Oh, well. We got, what are we rerolling in there? The Game Kid. That's right. We had Monster Manuel that we rerolled last time. Probably not going to get another reroll out of this, so let's hope that we get something good from this D6 on the current item room. I could go for some more damage. Piercing Shot's good, too. Piercing Shots has been showing up a lot in my runs lately. I'm happy with that, though. They end up being a pretty good upgrade. They synergize with a lot of stuff, too. Which makes it very nice. Super Pride. Well, I don't think I've fought Super Pride yet. No, oh, and that... Okay, so that's a... Wait, no, yeah, that's a familiar sight. Okay, I think I have dealt with Super Pride already in the past. My god. Troll bombs are insane. There we are. Uh, Joker card. Obviously going to save that. Good, though. It's a good find. Don't have uh, enough health right now, unfortunately, to really guarantee that I'll be taking advantage of a deal with the devil. But if I happen to be put in that position, probably wait for natural deal with the devils to occur occur naturally. I gotta itch my nose. I'm sorry about that. The n the most uh, beneficial devil of course is the one that occurs naturally. Get your natural Beelzebub straight from the manufacturer. Is this a shop? This is a curse room and I have a spirit heart. And that was silly. Okay. It's happened multiple times already. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and venture a guess that's right here. Nope. Damn. Oh, so sure. Alright, well. <laughs> on we go. Oh, I was gonna do this, actually. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Go to head. Hello. Well, Joker card apparently is just totally useless to me now. You know what I could do, actually? Here we go. That makes this a hell of a lot easier. Oh, we got the Gubby head again. But we don't want it. So <laughs> we'll keep rolling. Yeah, that makes that a lot easier. There we go. Since the Joker card is completely useless to me now, deals with the devil are guaranteed now that we have the goat head. So that was cool to just have that as an escape so I didn't have to deal with the trap room enemies. Oh wow, the room is still here. That's odd. That's interesting. So that's, I guess, a, a little way to game the respawning the deal with the devil door, isn't it? Let's see if it's still there when I come back. Nope. Oh wait, there it is. Yeah. Huh. That is interesting. That's actually... A pretty useful little tidbit of knowledge in certain circumstances. It could be good to know that you could respawn that entrance to the deal with the devil if you uh, happen to have a Joker card on hand. Very interesting. I may come in uh, and play later on. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I don't know. That kind of seems like it could be pretty damn worthwhile. Oh well. Moving on though. Little dingles, man. Yeah, we definitely need to get some damage here. The D6 still on hand. Of course, we're going to have a lot of opportunities for that, hopefully. Deal with the Devils are guaranteed, so I'm really probably hoping to find some more health upgrades. Or just a whole bunch of soul hearts. Pretty soon. It's going to be having a deal with the Devil at the end of this floor, of course. We're going to have one more beyond that. Guaranteed. That will be, uh... Oh, that was... Mask of Infamy. Proc number one. My goodness. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of hits. A lot of hits. We have Guppy's Collar and Ogg, so we don't have any, uh... 
huge risk of death soon. At least. Uh, let's not have this fight go this way. There we go, yeah. Let's get up close and personal there, buddy. Well, speaking of dying, potentially, I am uh, putting myself in not the greatest positions here. I'm having a hard time shooting his bombs back. I feel like I'm... Should be able to do that a lot easier. There's a few bombs for myself. Very good. I think there was a red heart down over here. I can't go. Oh, I can go in here now. Huh. Ooh. Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe later. Right now, I think I need... Well, you know, I've got a... Oh, that shut up. <laughs> well, I didn't know that happened. I still don't really understand those. Why they, uh... Are opening shut. I, I know it has something to do with your health, I just don't understand what it has to do with your health, because it never seems to make that much sense, but oh well. Do have our D6 charge now, we've got the exact same room twice as well, that's fun. Yeah, D6 is prepared, still haven't found the item room, got a couple of keys as well. Ooh, this is totally worth it. So we'll have to see if I need to utilize the shop here on this floor. Maybe probably gonna go ahead and fight the boss immediately just to see what kind of deal with the devil and or uh, freaking boss item we're looking at. Although I think I do need to go get some health first. Let's go ahead and use one of these bombs. Might be a super secret room or something right there. I was kinda hoping, but no dice. Alright. <laughs> no dice. More like one die, the D6. Booyah! Let's do a dark... Oh, dark one fight. Oh, snap. Oh, and there goes one bit of health. Okay. I have not fought this guy very frequently, so you're gonna have to forgive me as I, uh... try to re-familiarize myself with his attack patterns. That darkness is kinda scary. I believe he's gonna give me a uh, deal with the devil item as well. Like a pentagram or a mark or a pact or something. Which would be a beautiful sight to see. That was terrible. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay, let's be careful. Stay on the right side or the left side now. Holy crap. That was... That was scary for a little while there. Mask of Infamy still hasn't been hit yet, so I still have that in my back pocket. I want to stay on his left or right side, as far as I can tell. Yikes, man. This is a tough fight. Oh, goodness. Wow. That was really, uh... That was really close. Oh, we got a health up from him. Okay, old bandage. Let's see here. Dark Bum. <laughs> okay. You can't say no to Dark Bum, man. There's no way you can say no to Dark Bum. That's too good. So let's take him along for the ride here. I'm going to have a Spirit Heart right here already. Oh, my God. You gotta love it. What? Come on now, buddy. We've been having trouble with math before, you and I, but I didn't think it was going to get that bad where you couldn't say one equals one. That's kind of silly. Oh, well. I've got the keys for this. I don't even know if I really want it, though, to be honest. Let's go check out the shop first, just to guarantee that I'm not wasting keys on stuff I don't really need to waste keys on. Have I even been to the item room this floor? I can't... can't remember. I don't think I have. I really need some damage. Like, real bad. Dark Bomb's good and all, but... Damage plus. No, I haven't even been to the item room. Okay, so we definitely want to go there first. Item room and shop, I think, are going to take priority over the double key door. I think that's the, uh, the safest bet. The lovers. Actually, that's a really good find. There we go. Two spirit hearts from Dark Bum, perhaps? There we go. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. And Champion's Belt! Sure! Damage upgrade. That's what I've been looking for, right? I'm okay with that. And then let's go ahead and put three cents in the donation machine again. There we go. Still got the uh, re-roll for the item room here. Hopefully be able to find that soon so I don't have to keep wasting re-roll rooms. Oh. 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 Okay. Alright, this just became Ludovico technique. Well, I'm alright with that, honestly. In fact, let's go ahead and check this out. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that was a complete waste. Damn. Well, let's blow this guy up and see if maybe it's a little bit worth more worthwhile. Nope, not at all, even a little bit. Alright, well, perhaps a secret room lays in wait. Not there. Perhaps here. There it is. Give us something good inside of here, maybe. Nine cents. Well, it's not terrible. Not exactly what I was hoping for, either. Oh, a penny. All right. Now it's ten cents. Now it's okay. I could actually go back to the shop now. Consider buying a couple more things. I could go for another key, I guess. Considering I just wasted mine. Yeah, that's a good idea. 
And a uh, pill. Sure. Balls of steel. Well, all right then. That was fantastic. Good, good, good. All right, not a bad floor. We got Dark Bum. We got... What did we get? We got the old bandage we basically traded for Dark Bum. And the little... Oh, yeah, the little Vico technique. That was kind of a big part of the floor, wasn't it? So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm okay with this. Still got the D6. Oh, the, the Devil Door deal was already there. Dude. Apparently, it respawns anyway. I'm dumb. <laughs> Took me a few minutes, but I guess that just happens. I'm silly. That is pretty good, but I'm going to come back for it. I've got one key. got to go to the item room first, of course. All right, I am not very strong still. This Ludovico tier is not going to be that good, unfortunately. And, I mean, it's okay, but... Definitely needs to be a little bit better. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, man. You can't get mad at me for that. You can. You can get very easily mad at me for that. All right, come on. Pop up. Don't make this difficult. Don't you make this difficult. There we go. Can I just... Ah, oh, Lord. Yeah, he's gonna... He, you can suck on a big fatty, all right? You can go ahead and do that. With that kind of behavior you're exhibiting. Oh, Lord Almighty. All right, let's... Focus a little bit here, I guess. The spider's gonna be okay to deal with, but... Oh, yeah, actually, you know what? This is a pretty easy little room to handle with the Ludovico. I am okay with that. Oh, not anymore. God damn it. That's it. Uh, still no item room. Yikes. Oh, they're so fast. They're so fast. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man. That is intense. Holy crap. That is hard to follow. Oh, boy. Still got the D6. I don't want to go to you just yet. Maybe if I find a whole bunch more money. Oh, there we go. Well, I'm going to separate them all, aren't I? Oh, man. This is insanely complicated. My brain can almost not handle this. Item room, please. Item room, I need you. Help me. Help me, item room, Kenobi. You guys love that scene from Star Trek, don't you? <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm damn well proud of it. Boom. I was hoping for a tinted rock, but I traded a penny for a bomb there. That was not the wisest move. Bye, Bear Taffy. I know how to spot the tinted rocks. Please don't tell me how. Thank you. <laughs> Just have to sing, sing, sing about it. More pennies. Give me a good card. Magician. How does that affect the Ludovico technique, I wonder? Not at all. All right. Glad I kept that for a room. Oh, wait a minute. Is it doing something? It is doing something. Whoa. Oh, that's kind of cool. It actually does kind of pull my tear toward the enemy. Interesting. I like that. Thanks, Dark Bum. That's kind of cool. So if we get Spoonbender, it actually will end up having an effect on the Ludovico Technique tier. Very cool. Oh, what is this? What is this? This is Poison Touch? I'm going to re-roll it. Butt bombs. All right. Hope we get another charge here. That is worth it to me. Let's do this because this gives us a D6 charge, which is pretty damn awesome. And I've got two keys to use over here. Tammy's head and another key. There we go. Totally worth it. Uh oh, we didn't charge the. Oh god, did we really? No, okay, we didn't. I was gonna say, did we actually use that battery on the Tammy's head? Because that would be so silly. So silly. All right, get that D6 back. And let's go down here. There we go. So those butt bombs give the toxic aura, which I believe stays in the room indefinitely. Or not indefinitely, but it stays in the room and it damages all things in the room, if I recall correctly. Which is pretty rad. I also only need one more guppy item still, of course, and that would make uh, dealing with Ludovico a little bit easier, in fact. So hopefully we come across that. Uh, still no tinted rocks that I can spot. Can look thoroughly through this room as well, of course. Careful. Careful, careful. Kind of hard to see where the actual area of effect is for this Ludovico tier as well, considering it's a triangle at the moment. The bloat! Alright. Well, that, uh... Certainly is not the worst boss in the world to have to deal with, with Ludovico. 
It's actually pretty damn good. It makes fighting the blood a hell of a lot easier. Staying in this corner, obviously, is not going to be an ideal situation, but... I don't know. It might work out. This might be okay, actually. This might be a really good way to fight this thing. Yeah! F it! Stay here! This will do? He's, oh, the peeper eye finally did get in here, but... Overall, that went pretty damn well. Of course, another guaranteed deal with the devil as a result of the uh, goat head. I think we have three hearts right now, three red hearts. And the nail is pretty damn good, but I could re-roll it to help for a uh, guppy item. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, Brother Bobby. No. No, I don't think he is. I'm going to go and try to get another re-roll here. Because I think the, de or the deal with the devil door will respawn. I don't think I'm crazy in that sense. Ooh, I don't think I'm going to get another re-roll, though. Yeah, probably not. Oh, well. I didn't really want Brother Bobby anyway. I don't think that's worth a heart container, to be honest. I could take it. It's... He's not gonna be. He's not gonna be the difference maker, you know. I, I think I'd rather have the one to hit a damage later on than have Brother Bobby shooting a little pellet every five seconds. I'm okay with this. We have a lot of health too. Definitely gonna go for curse room here. Uh, Guppy had a chance, unfortunately didn't happen. Speed down. That's not good. Full health. Totally useless too. Okay. I'm hoping. Uh, hoping for damage primarily here. Damage is gonna be. Uh, Kind of the make or break situation here. Demon Bum, Dark Bum, rather, is still awesome, of course. Well, I got two keys for this. I don't think I'm going to do that just yet. Might come back and grab it later. Ooh, Ludovico's pretty awesome for these guys, too. So I get to just stay in one corner here and deal with them from afar. Deal with them from Jafar. Aladdin 4. Jafar back in time. Rainbow Baby, bleh. Blah! I'm vomiting rainbows at the thought of Rainbow Baby. Let's. Keep a reroll going for that. Oh my god, the spikes are actually my friends here. Interesting. Alright, please kill them very quickly. There we go. Very good. I could go to the shop. Could go to the shop here. There's another... Oh, nice. Petrified poop. That's pretty damn good. I don't even have a trinket right now. Excellent. I will go to the shop. Eh, I've only got one key. Let's hold off. We'll come back to the shop if the key ends up being useless through the rest of the run here. Can't even get to this treasure chest, sadly. If we get up to 15 cents, of course, we will definitely go to the shop, but for now, not 100% worth it. Left hand. Ooh. If I could fly over there, man. Still looking for that third guppy item. Got really lucky early on. I haven't been able to get similar luck since then. I think it'll, I think it'll eventually happen. Just a matter of time. Another key to get that card probably isn't the greatest idea in the world, considering the best I can really hope for is a two of hearts, which would give me another two soul hearts. Which would be trading a key for two soul hearts, which... Not the worst, or not the greatest thing in the world. Ah, oh, actually, it could give me, like, a sun card or an emperor card. Might be... Might be worth it in that sense, please, and thank you, Dark Bum. God, you're amazing. Oh, shit, I have a D6 roll. I totally forgot. Man, again, I, I, kept, I kept reminding myself, like, don't... Forget about the D6 that you now have. It's so beautiful. And you throw it all away. Like the blood from the midsection of a... An animal demon. Alright, yeah, there's still that option. I think it's the item room, right? The item room is where we're heading right now to re-roll the... Ooh, the rainbow baby. That's what it was. That is what it is. And let's see what it turns into. It's the paste... Rubber cement, the bouncing, bouncing tears, combined with Ludovico. See, I only took that because I didn't know what it was, and I was curious enough. Let's go ahead and go in here. Oh, the two for one bombs. You know what? I'm gonna take another key for three cents, and then I'm just gonna donate the rest of this. Get up above 150, huh? Black candles appeared in the basement. Nice. That's awesome. Got another unlock. Very, very good. See, making progress every day. That's what Rebirth's all about, man. Feels good here. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a bomb and two keys to get to this locked chest in the off chance that it does contain another guppy item, perhaps. We'll see what happens here. And uh, three pennies and a bomb and a... Shit. <laughs> well, I think that actually was going to be the last key I could use because we are in depths two, so that's okay by me. 
not likely we'll have many more opportunities for keys down the road. So I am, I am okay with that trade. Probably not gonna find the boss room right there. <laughs> it's exactly where we're gonna find the boss room. Okay, fine by me. Let's do it. Uh, mob fight. Here we go. Blue mom. That's that's okay. That's actually probably the best I could have hoped for. I'll probably just leave Ludovico to you right there, or around that area. Or maybe down here. Yeah, it might be better. Yeah, we'll keep it down here. And I'm probably just gonna stick with that placement. Might try to bomb over these areas to... Ooh, yeah, I think that is damage over time to every enemy on the screen, isn't it? That's pretty damn good. I like that a lot. Let's, uh, I'm gonna keep... The tier where it is, I'm just gonna try to bomb away certain areas of the screen just to Oh, it makes them it makes them daze for a little bit, and I just wasted a black heart because I'm terrible. I don't know why I'm getting closer to the other doors. I just need to avoid everything while the tier sits there. That's the entire objective, and I'm failing miserably at it. Alright, well that got those guys. Sometimes I kinda wish I could just shoot normal tiers for a little while. Alright, nearly got this. Just waiting for those, uh, bottom end spawns. Not happening as frequently as would like, like, like them to right now. Oh, God, yeah, they're just boxing me in the corners over and over again here. Alright. Not bad. Let's grab the negative. So I know that the negative does take me to the dark room, so maybe I should consider the, uh... Oh, Krampus fight, okay. Might get a, uh, might get a Krampus' head here, which honestly I would probably take over the D6. Might... Go to the dark room this time. I might go that route. Because I don't think I need to kill Isaac as Isaac. I'm pretty sure we already did that, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to take Krampus' head here. Krampus' head is pretty awesome. Let's do it. Let's do it. And, uh... Yeah, we're done so, man. Let's go. Dropping D6. Might end up biting me in the butt, but... Krampus' head is fantastic. Combined with Ludovico. Of course, Ludovico on the Isaac fight is pretty solid, but we aren't going to go that way this time around. I do have one key. Might as well open this up. Darkbone can turn that into power. Nice. Speaking of power, I could certainly use a hell of a lot of damage upgrades. I'm thinking that's got to be the... Uh, that's going to be the deal breaker whether or not this run goes anywhere is the... Lack of or prevalence of damage upgrades. Let's hope for the best. Still kind of confusing to try to do. Red hearts are a good sign as well. If I can get a whole bunch of red hearts, I'm alright with that. Dark Bum's gonna carry me to victory here. In fact, let's go ahead and let him do his business. Come on now, buddy. Do, 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 do. Okay, chub time. Shabster! This is gonna be a really easy fight, actually. Very good. Oh man, I love it. I love it! So good! Oh man, alright, there's another half one. That should be enough to get a spirit heart out of you, or not. That was probably worth it, though. I'd call that trap fight worth it. And this is gonna be no problem either. Purposefully triggering the max of infamy right there, because I'm a goddamn professional. Uh, can't get in there very easily. Probably not even worth the effort anyway. Ooh, this is gonna be an annoying room. Unless I do this and not really help ourselves out at all, but that's okay <laughs> because it was fun! That's all that matters, right? Well, let's go kill him. Oh, this is gonna be so annoying. I need you to spawn by me, buddy. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be the absolute worst thing in the world. There you are. Get him! Please don't just die. Just die. Thank you. Ooh, we got Krampus' head charge back at least. Uh, I think the curse room's probably worth it. Let's find out. Alright. Completely balanced out again. That's been the common theme for the curse rooms on this run. I guess that's okay. Oh look, another uh, Krampus' head charge is waiting for me. Awesome. I'll take that. If only we had the D6 still, right? And we could reroll nothing. That would be awesome. That would be so ideal and perfect. There we go. Getting those keys back in abundance, man. 
He doesn't want me to be a little sour foot now. Don't be a little sour foot now, boy. Don't taste your foot and think, mmm, that's sour. Wouldn't want that to happen. God damn, you take a lot of damage. Go get him, demon bum. Go get that red heart, buddy. Alright, I think it might be time to fight the boss here, actually. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Mama Gertie! Ooh, that's gonna be fun! And she's almost dead. <laughs> oh, I thought Massive Infamy would block that, but oh well. Alright, shouldn't have too much trouble here. Let me try to be a little careful about... Oh, lord. This is a sweet-ass fight, man. I really like the Mama Gertie fight. I think it's pretty awesome. Pretty damn cool. Yeah, right, what we get? 48-hour energy, damn! Well, I can certainly search the rest of the floor with this. Bombs are key is not really good, actually. And then a full health bill, I guess I might as well keep that. Let's see what we get. Oh, Spirit of the Night. Hmm. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna do that, because that combined with the Vigo, kind of what I've been looking for. In order to, uh, make my travels much safer. So we got two energy things, which means we might as well... Oh my god, take some time here, search the rest of the floor. These... these enemies are a bunch of freaking balls, man. I don't know why I have so much trouble with them, but I do. It's terrible. I am gonna go grab... Wait a minute, oh, is that... No, it's in the boss room. Yeah, it's still here, okay. I was gonna say, I really hope that is not... Just hanging out in the Devon, in the Devon, in the Devon room. The room where Devon lay. No, they're there. <laughs> they're there and ready for the taking. Okay, so now, the whole reason behind getting Spirit of the Night was to trigger that. <laughs> nope. Was to uh, be able to fly around and get into a corner and be safe whenever we encounter those sorts of enemies. So, those sorts of rooms, rather. But that works as well. As long as we have that option available, I think we'll be a okay. Consumables are not an issue anymore. If I can sit in the right place here, actually, I'm pretty sure Super Lust will not be able to hit me. There we go, that works. Beautiful. Now let's just all sit back and just enjoy the moment for a second. Oh, that feels nice. I'm grabbing that. Sorry, buddy. Need that one. Full health is a different pill, okay? I'm all right with that. Weird. Ooh, I'm really glad I did not move instantly forward in that room. What else... What else can we hope for here, man? I, I'd really like to, uh... I'd really like to get some damage upgrades, but I don't know if they're gonna happen anymore. These deals with the devil have really not been that fruitful. Sadly. Flying is always good, I guess, but... When there's... Oh, wow. When there's so many other things that you're really hoping for... It's kind of a disappointment sometimes to see Spirit of the Night right like that. And I don't know if I even made the right decision in getting it, honestly. Might be better off without it. I suppose we'll see. Certainly helps me in this particular room where I'm going to definitely be trying to take these guys out real fast. And I am starting to get dead. Yikes. Alright, probably shouldn't have lured them into the center. That was probably my fault. Yo, thank you, Mask of Infamy. Using ball of bandages pretty effectively here as well. There we go. Help me out, my friend. Thank you. All right. Well, that's unfortunately not a lot more value gained out of exploring the rest of this floor here. Down we go. Down we go into the further beyond. Excuse me there, I'm having having some facial contortions. Anyway, down we go, Womb 2. And we destroy everything. <laughs> God, I love that item. It's so good. I'm so willing to give up the D6 for that every single time. Every single time. I do not have a problem with that. Oh, goodness. These champions, man. The champion's belt, that's what it is. That's what's making things difficult here. Hoping for a different trinket at some point, too. There you go, buddy. Nope. All right. Safety! Safety in the center of the blocks! 
That is a well-timed, uh, oh nice, lucky rock. There's something inside of it. This is a well-timed double lock door with Bob's brain. I don't know how that would work with Ludovico, but I'm terrified of it. I'm gonna grab it, because I'm curious how it works with Ludovico. The exact same way it normally does, which is bad. This <laughs> that could easily screw me over. I guess I can control it a little bit easier though, right? Just a little, little easier. I don't know. This might be, uh... This might be what kills me. I wouldn't be totally shocked if we died to a Ludovico slash Bob's brain chain reaction effect. You may not color me surprised for that incident. Because it would not be the truth! I needed money right then! I'm so glad that happened! I was so poor! I was on Isaac Welfare for a moment's time there. Oh, hello! We got ourselves a good Bob's brain shot to start the day here. Another red heart, thank you very much! Alright! You can come back and get that charge. Might as well do this. That did the job. Alright, give me some more, buddy. A little bit more, I'm sure. It'll come, don't worry, everybody! Everybody gets a little nervous on the first try. He'll come back to you. Health up, hell yes! And then we got ourselves, uh, pheromones. Full health available again as well. I am down with that. Alright, go over there. Kinda did control that, actually. I'm pretty happy with, uh... the result of that Bob's brain shot. I am not happy with that, though. Still just looking for the boss room, basically. I am safe. On the blocks. The corner is good. Might actually keep these guys up. If I can play my cards right here. Actually, I don't know if that's happening at all. Pretty sure the complete opposite of that is going down right now. There we go. Oh, we got the, uh... Well, you know what? Yeah, we might as well go for Rosary Bead, right? Because Petrified Poop is basically useless at this point. The poop does not really occur that much anymore, except for the rooms with the dingles. Which is not all the rooms, of course. In the off chance that there's something good in there. Wow! Alright then. Is that just happening? Is that just what happens now as I blow up rocks here and the money just pours out? I must have some kind of item for that, right? Oh, the Bob's brain just totally wrecked my shit right there, yep. Kind of probably thinking I should have used Krampus' head on this room. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Now I gotta think about Bob's brain again. This is entirely too confusing. Oh my god. Good lord! There we go! Man! <laughs> oh, this is complicated! This is very complicated. Ooh, I don't like this very much. I don't think he's gonna come back up unless I get over here or something. This'll work. I think if I just keep... giving him to pop up right there or something... I don't know, maybe our damage is enough. Maybe our damage is enough right now to make this run work. There we go. The ball of bandages did the job there. I'm gonna test this theory. I think that might be an item giving us coins whenever we blow up rocks. That's very weird. I had no idea I had that item. I just thought I was getting really lucky with my bombing placement. Huh. Cool. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Bob's brain again. Probably just go ahead and stay on the abyss. Because this will probably work out eventually. As long as I can see where my actual tier is going. I think that's nearly one chub dead. It's probably, you know, I'm going to go ahead and focus on these guys. Oh, nice. Bob's brain again. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, the carnage from that. I should probably go ahead and grab this red heart as well while I'm at it. Get to the full red here. I don't think he was spawning little guys while I was above the abyss, was he? Maybe if I'm, uh, unreachable. His approach changes. Alright. That was a big-ass room right there. Where are we headed? Down and to the left, trying to keep this Krampus' head charge for the mom's, or, uh, It Lives fight, of course. Almost through. There we go. Alright. In we go! Let's do it! It lives, and Krampus' head does work. Okay. 
Good start. Where's my Ludovico tier? There it is. Keep that in the center, of course. Hopefully be able to shoot off Bomb's brain at some point. There we go. See, I can control it fairly easily now that I've, uh, realized what the control mechanism is for the Ludovico tier. I thought it would be, uh, thought it would even maybe be a situation where the Bob's brain actually followed around the Ludovico tier, but luckily that is not the case. That would be kind of difficult to manage. Trying to get ourselves a good shot with Bob's brain right now. That was very dangerous, actually. I definitely want to clear these guys out. Trying to keep the tier on there. Expecting the brimstone shot. There it is. And there it goes. Nice. Bob's brain kill on Mom's heart slash it lives. And we're going down to Shale, I believe. Because we need to get through the chest. Get to the dark room, hopefully. Let's do it. Here we go. Down to Shale. Still need that damage. If I can find anything that will help us out. That would be ideal. These guys, yeah, the rooms here are gonna be a treat, man. It's gonna be, uh, basically one boss fight after the next. Trying to get down to the Satan fight, which in and of itself is probably gonna be a little difficult. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of worried about how this whole Shale experience is gonna go down, because these guys aren't gonna go down that easily, and they're not that tough. They do not have a lot of health, so we are looking at a pretty damn... Pretty damn difficult situation dealing with the shit in fact. And that is Burkano, which is okay. Certainly it will take that. I have my Krampus' head charge. Pretty much just looking for the Satan fight as soon as I can possibly find it. Oh, shoot. I <laughs> I was looking at the shadow of my Ludovico tier and I was thinking that was the uh that was the monstro, but such is not the case. This is going pretty easy. Do I have them like a jumping loop? That would be awesome. If you could do that to Monstro too, that would be amazing. There we go, Bob's brain broken again. Almost there. Almost got him! There we go! Good. Oh, crap. There it is. Alright, go Demon Bum! And another bomb. When will it end? Oh, uh, when will the madness end? That was really bad. I'm almost intentionally just using bandage ball to do the majority of the of the work here. This is gonna, this is going to be an annoying as hell room. Cuz these guys have a lot of health too. They're not that easy to kill. Luckily as soon as I find one it's almost guaranteed damage one at a time here. Oh lord. Yeah, this is annoying as shit. <laughs> Almost there, almost there. There we go. All right, we got the half heart, which I'm going to let Demon Bump take because I don't want to take anything but a full heart myself. Uh, I'm going to go for the path directly up. Oh, all right. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm probably going to die unless I do crap as his head or something here. And we got it. Okay, nice. Eternal heart. Does he take that? I don't think so. I wouldn't want him to take it, so I'm glad he doesn't. Uh, let's go like this. Hopefully we get some spirit arts out of here. Come on, just one. Oh, thank you. I was thinking I was done for. All right, the Fallen. This actually should be pretty easy. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be real challenging. I died? Oh, my God. Well... I could have used the full health bill, I guess. That probably would have been my best bet. The Onk apparently takes effect before Guppy's Collar. I did not know that. I don't know how I died. I don't know how I took damage. I thought I was on a rock. Oh, apparently he can reach me there, too. Wow, that was bad. Okay. Okay, that's real not good for me at all. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Well, at least I have Dark Bum right now. That's certainly helping us out, right? This isn't good. I don't think the full health pill actually does anything for me now. Oh lord, this is bad. It's real bad. And he blows up. I should have known that. That is paperclip, which totally blows. We're just going to go ahead and take the rosary bead. Actually, you know what? Ros rosary bead doesn't do anything for me either, but neither of them are really particularly good, so it doesn't matter. Okay, this sucks balls too. A whole bunch of rooms that just totally suck balls. Hey! 
You interested in rooms that suck balls? Play this seed shale. You'll never be disappointed at the lack of ball sucking again. I kind of want to see what the full health pill does just out of morbid curiosity right now. Well, I guess it's not that morbid. Well, we'll find out. Nothing. Okay. Let's go get ourselves killed. Satan fight. Two. Three. There we go. Alright, that's a good start. That's some good damage on the very first phase of the Satan fight, which... Which is not the best place. Alright. <laughs> I've got one half heart as Guppy. Or not as Guppy, rather, as Guppy's collar reincarnated. Oh boy, I don't think this is going to work out, but I will try it. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay a bomb here. I'm going to go like that. Let's try to get this first phase. Kill these two. Let's see how well effective this does. Oh, I'm dead. Whoa, I'm back again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have Gramps' head this time. Oh, the third fight. The third fight, the third attempt. Can I make it happen? I don't think so. Yep, I'm dead. Oh, that was terrible. Huh. Thanks for watching this episode of The Binding of Isaac Reaper. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like. Leave a like if you did. I'm going to go blow my nose. I'll see you next time.